For Detective Harrison. Anything happens to me, they'll go straight to Carl. Not my problem. Oh, yes, it is a problem. You know why? Because Carl will turn you over to the police. Everybody knows you were in this building, and everybody knows you don't belong. That's a problem, you know? Ow! You know I'm right about Carl. I don't know anybody named Carl. And I'm getting sick of the sound of your voice, lady. How are you going to make this look like an accident? In the darkness, you step into an open elevator shaft 13 stories up. I'll scream in there's security in this building. All the time. You can't do this to me. Watch me. Oh!
mystery. Police backup and an ambulance sent to TV Studio 3. There's an electrical emergency. Rachel Corey has been hit with a live wire. Repeat, she has been hit with a live wire. I, I can't get a pulse, and I'm not sure that she's still alive. Ryan, what happened? The EMS said that she had a cardiac arrest due to an electrical shock? Yeah, there was a live wire next to her. She must have touched it. There's a burn on her hand. Did they defibrillate at the scene? No, I did CPR until they got there. She had no pulse. She's got one now. She's having multifocal CBC. All right, push uh, 75 milligrams of lidocaine and get her off to CCU as soon as we can. I want EKG and blood gas stat. She's bad, isn't she, Jen? Did she ever regain consciousness? No, she was out for about 20 minutes, maybe more. Where did it happen? In Felicia's TV studio. Did you see the accident? No, I found her like this. Is she gonna make it? Well, she's made it this far, and you got her heart started again. That's always a good sign. I'll know more once I get the test back. Where's Rachel? Yeah, she's in the icy room with uh, John. Is she all right? It's a good thing you called me when you did. You probably saved her life. How badly is she hurt? What's wrong with her? She touched the live wire. Oh, was this a freak accident? No, no way this was an accident. Someone was after her in that studio. What do you mean? I mean, someone was trying to kill her. Rachel? It's John Hudson. You're in intensive care. Okay, considering. What happened to my hand? It's an electrical burn. Apparently you grabbed a live cable. Ryan found you in Felicia's studio. Thanks, Ryan. Rachel, the current caused you to have a cardiac arrest. So I'd like to keep you in here for a while, just to keep an eye on you, make sure that your old heart keeps ticking just the way it's supposed to. Okay. Clean that iris are outside before they come in. Ryan has some questions he'd like to ask you. Do you feel up to it? I want to talk to Ryan. Okay, just don't push. Keep it under five minutes, she's exhausted. I'll be quick. Rachel, I, uh, I insisted on talking to you first. I'm sorry about that. I think someone's trying to kill me, Ryan. Can you tell me what happened? I got a message. 
You were coming to the studio to meet me. It wasn't for me. Right. Everything started out all right. Everyone had left the studio. They left a security officer there. And we found him unconscious later. I had a feeling someone was watching me. So I... I went to phone. The phones were dead. So what did you do? Tried to get out of there. Doors were locked. It's okay, Rachel. Take your time. Couldn't get out. Everywhere I went, that guy was behind me. Did you actually see him? Yeah. He grabbed me. Grab him? Yeah. Six feet. Uh, blonde. Thirties. Did you notice his eye color? Too dark. Rachel, do you think that you could work with a police artist? Try. Do you have any idea if you'd seen him before? Yeah. In Felice's studio. Can you tell Earlier. me anything else? No. Carl. I heard him, I think. He threatened. What? Why didn't I know about this before? Uh, I saw Carl earlier. You, Rachel, you went to his apartment? With Michael. I wanted to call his bluff. Well, he scared him. Carl strikes when he's scared. Gonna do right. I'll let Carl know that the heat's back on. The guy in the studio. Mm -hmm. He knew that place really well. I'm sure he was part of the crew. I'm sure it's a possibility. Talk to Felicia. She noticed him. Knew he didn't belong. Thank you, Rachel. I want you to stop talking for a while. I want you to get some rest. Rachel. And Rachel, one more thing. The stagehand. And Carl, if we can find a link between the two of them, we can charge them both for attempted murder. Hoping you're able to testify. Oh, sweetie, I'm going to be around here for a long time. Good. Iris told me about the test. Result. She needed proof, now she has it. Why didn't you tell me? Rachel, you had already given me a family, a home, a beautiful wedding. Mm -hmm. I see the sense in rushing. Who you are now. You want to be able to get on with your life. I'm not thinking about that. But it's not time. You know, Amanda and Matt and Jamie are going to be real busy. I was wondering if you'd like me to stay with you until so you got better. Oh, sweetie, that's a lovely offer. I'd really love to. It would make me feel like I'm doing something worthwhile. Bad advice. I mean, I was only trying to help. Well, you didn't have another chance to do that, Jake. Paulina has just offered to uh, stay at the house and help me until I get better. I thought maybe. 
Maybe I'd call Hilda. And have her get your room ready. Well, that's not necessary. I'm sure Jake won't mind. No, no I'd love to help. 